Yeah, it is, but I can cut this side off. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now you have to cut it off. <laughs> now I probably won't. <laughs> Alright, cool. So this is Justin, um, who's in my class. Yay. Yay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Um, and he's got a slightly different perspective on Russia to the one I do. He's definitely had a bit of a different experience. So, why are you here? I'm here because I'm studying Russian and I have to finish my degree. Oh, yeah. so kind of an important reason. Sort of an important reason. Mm -hmm. And um, you had a, definitely a lot better time here than I have had. Why do you think that is? Well, I'm asking the same question. Why, what have you been doing? Why has Russia been so awesome? Well, part of it is it's a hell of a lot easier being here being a guy. <laughs> Everyone says, I'm going to see a scientific. He's like, there's a lot here for men, but there is nothing here for women. I'm like, well, that's true. It's very true. Okay, so thank you for the comprehensive answer. <laughs> <laughs> that was just great. Um, all right, so you, you've been going out a lot and stuff. What is the Russian nightlife like? It's pretty good. I like it. It's hugely different than uh, in North America, where you know clubs and stuff are cheaper and a little bit, but for the most part, you're looking at paying sort of the same for alcohol, depending on what you get. But mostly. Um, just the way people interact with clubs is way different. They're not as dirty, not as greasy. As dirty, as crazy. The kind They're of, so clean. <laughs> I mean, just the people that, are, that you meet are different. And, yeah. Um, it's not as bad meeting someone at a bar or a club here as it is back in. It's not as bad. Day. In what way? Well, back home, we're always saying, meet, you know, where'd you meet that person? Oh, we met at a bar, we met at a club, Ooh, where we say it's a judgy. bad place to meet people. Okay. But, but here, it's I don't know, a lot of people I've met have been pretty good and are now some of my okay. good friends. Cool. Okay, is it bonding through alcohol? I like it. It's the way it should be, right? The way it should be. Alright, um, and you asked me not to ask you about this, but Russian women, question mark. Sure you didn't want to ask about I Russian really, guys? Yeah, should they be equal? No, 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 well I will ask you Russian guys next. Alright, well, Russian guys first. What, what are your impressions about Russian guys? I have good Russian guy friends. Mm -hmm. no, but the majority of them on the metro look like they haven't traveled in a few days. Oh, they have not want to browse. And well, those, are, those are the southern. Well, the mullets are no, Russian, I mean, but Russian there's a lot of Russian well. guys. There's so many more brows. Uh, just... <laughs> um, okay. All right, now, Russian women, impressions, thoughts. And I, you don't have to be PC. I'm not going to hit you, probably, in front of the video camera. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> or later. <laughs> um, I'd say the biggest difference is that. You know, here in Russia, people just aren't as big on average, so I think that transfers over to, to women, and that just a lot of the girls, a lot of women that you hear are thin, especially when you're younger. And so, you know, you don't really have that whole, you know, where we talk about having like the big friends, you know, when there's two girls. It doesn't really happen here. It's either, you're usually choosing between two very thin and attractive girls. Okay. Okay. Now, actually, I have to be really point to point to you now, so I can step back. Um, personal space. Right, so we've had to change because a class needed that room. It was getting a little bit awkward. Poor planning. Great planning. Thank you. Um, all right. So we were saying, I was saying, you've dated a couple of Russian girls. How has that been different to dating Westerners? Um, I don't know. My the one girl I dated for a while was, I don't know, she was pretty cool, but. I don't know how to explain. There wasn't a whole lot of differences. Okay. I mean, there was just more like, just more gender role type stuff. But more gender role type stuff. You know, like, you know, there wasn't so much on like equality, but you know, maybe it was fine. But. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. this would be like, what is he saying? What is he saying? All right. Um. Yeah, I've got that as well. Like my, I've only got one female friend who said it a Russian guy, and she said that yes, yeah, the same thing. Like, um, if. Like, he won't let her carry her shopping home. Because he'd be like, no, people will think I'm weak. And she's like, I can carry a bag. He's like, no, it's not allowed. I'm like, whatever, whatever. Works for you. <laughs> Doesn't work for me, but whatever. All right, cool. Um, now, what has annoyed you, or what has been the worst thing about Russia, or your worst Russian experience? Um, one, the cops was detained. That was annoying yeah, for just being a foreigner. Um, so funny. And two is just these really like entranceways and doors to buildings where they're like there's double doors and the door on the right opens but then the following door is closed and you have to go over to the left and open up that door on the left and it happens all the time i've never really i've never encountered that in what context like what are these buildings 
I don't know, like for example, I mean, not on our school, but you know you have like yeah. the double doors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time the right one's open and then the left one, not like the two on the right. It's, it's really weird. I've never noticed really? that. Yeah, I've never noticed Well, we went into the mall left, and um, we were at like, the Ikea mall, we went in the right, and then we had to go to the left and go in the left one. Oh, so that stupid one. Ikea mall with that angry guy. Yeah. Yeah, I lost my temper a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm going to explain that right now. Anyway, all right, cool. So that's the worst thing, doors. That's the only thing you about Russia, just doors. Uh, people speak faster and get angry if you don't speak fluent Russian, but... Yeah, I haven't had that either. I've never had anyone get angry at me for not speaking Russian. Not at the metro? Mm-hmm. Actually, no, I had ladies one... ladies want to kill themselves. Yeah, actually, I had one lady in a metro booth who went nuts and told me to go away yeah. in most yeah. impolite terms. All right, cool. Um, one of the best things. What... Yeah, what is your best experience here, or what are the best things about Russia? The things you just love? Um, I'd definitely say the way your friends are here. I don't know, like... The way my friends are. I have good friends. Lost my friends. Good (laughs) Russian friends here. Um, and just like, less bullshit. People are more real all the time. Yeah. Okay. People play less games, less... I don't know, people are more honest. Okay, I... Again. More alive. It's just so weird, because I've... I just had a completely different experience to every single person I've interviewed so far. Um, and I don't really, I find it's like the same in terms of like gamesy type stuff. Really? Well, yeah. I don't really find that with like, I mean, you still get a little bit, but just not as much. And, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think like, you know, whether it's like girls have dated or like, I don't know, they're way smarter for one thing. They read. <laughs> Compared to idiot Western they, girls? They yeah. want to talk about books and, yep. and not about Jersey Shore. So, oh. like, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and lastly, what would you if someone was coming to Russia for the first time or to study or whatever, is there any recommendation you would make? Carry a lighter always on you. People always, always ask you for lighters and it's an awesome way to meet people. Yeah. I've met so many people just from um, Carrying you know, a lighter. Yeah, I've given them my lighter. I've, you know Just never happened to me either. Yeah. And if you do smoke, <clears throat> know that it's normal for people to ask you for a cigarette. Yeah. But you can also take one back. It's like the take a penny, leave a penny system. Actually, <laughs> just swapping cigarettes, like yeah. a cigarette exchange system. I don't know. But other than that, I don't know. I just expect it to be totally different and learn Russian too. And learn Russian, yeah. Because they don't Russian. speak English here. No, I don't. I know a couple of people who don't speak any Russian and are here, but I wouldn't want to do it. Yeah. Screw that. You don't have like five people around you who spoke English at any time. Alright, cool. That's pretty much all my questions. So. Deal. Freedom, sweet freedom.